All right, welcome to another GIMP tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to the heel and the clone tool, and they are complementary tools. And it took me a while when I first started using GIMP to figure those out, but I think I've got it. All right, let's open up GIMP. And let's open up a file here, a couple of them. I'll show you the before and after. I've already done this. <clears throat> I was editing a couple photos the other day for a video thumbnail. And I thought, you know, this might make a good tutorial. Okay, so first I'll open up our before image. And we'll maximize that. Holding down the shift control and the L key, or the J key, excuse me. And then we're going to open up the after image. Okay, so these tools are going to work whether you're correcting blemish on an object like this aircraft here, or whether it's a, a person, if you need to cover up a blemish on someone's skin, a, you know, acne, a scar, a wart, whatever. Um, these tools will work for that as well. So this is the before and this is the after. So you can see that I crashed this and I broke the canopy in two pieces and had to glue it back together. So now it's pretty ugly. It's got some battle scars. But with the help of GIMP and the heel and the clone tools, it looks brand new again, doesn't it? Okay, so that's what it looks like. So what we're going to do first is we're going to uh, zoom in here on this canopy a bit. And then we're going to take our path tool here and we're going to outline this just in the front curved area. We're going to put some points through here. And then we're going to come straight across to the other side because all we're concerned about is the bad section here. And I'll show you why I'm selecting this. I'll explain this in a minute. Okay, and then hover over our beginning point and click that and then hit enter key and now we've got it selected. So I need to adjust these curves a little bit. So if I hover up one, over one of these points and then I hold my control key down, do you see that? Do you see that bar um, where you can alter the curves of the points? Um, the, the control keys down right now see how they're solid and I let up and, and they're empty so if you hold down the control key you can pull out those those um, those curve bars and adjust those curves so we're gonna get the other side of that and we want to make sure that our curves you know are right along the edge we're gonna do the same thing with this one here And the other side. Looks like I've got one going in the opposite direction here. Okay. And this one. Alright, there's my handle. Oh. There's my handle. Okay, so we've got our curves lined up pretty well. Let me pull this one out just a little bit more. Okay, so now I'm going to hit the enter key again. And so now I've got everything selected. I've got the contour on it. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click. I'm going to edit. I'm going to say copy. And then I'm going to right click. I'm going to edit. I'm going to say paste as new layer. Okay, so now we've got that section in a completely new layer. So I'm going to go over to my, my base image here and I'm going to hide it. And then I'm going to go into my um, layer option here and I'm going to lock the alpha channel. Because I don't want to, I don't want to put color past the edges of this um, I'm going to uh, undo the select select none 
All right, so uh, I'm going to grab a different tool here. So, and then we're going to we're going to uh, zoom in on it again. But um, I don't want to go. I don't want to affect the transparency. I just want to affect the color part of this image. Okay, so let's go into our clone and our heal tool. And first, I am going to grab the clone tool. Like I said, these these tools complement each other. So we'll go into our tool options here, and I've got my opacity set at about 55%. I've got a, a fuzzy brush selected, and that's what you want. You don't want to select a hard brush. And let's see, we want to increase the size of our brush a bit. So let's see what that, a little bit more. Okay, so for the larger areas, I want a larger brush to use. All right, so um, the hardness, I want to turn down the hardness on the brush. I want to um, I want to apply jitter so that it's not, you know, straight lines. It's going to it's going to jitter the brush a little bit. That'll help it blend in. I want a smooth stroke. Okay? And I do not want a hard edge. So make sure your hard edge down there is not selected. All right, so we we take the area that we want to sample here. And we hold down our control key and we click that okay and so now it looks like we have another copy here but what i'm doing now is i'm just going to left click over these bad areas and it's going to take the pixels from this area that i just targeted and it's going to lay them down over here but we're going to have to we're going to click it several times because we've only got about 55 percent opacity so i'm going to left click and as you can see it's slowly filling in the bad area and I use the clone tool to begin with because the heal tool does, you know, average sampling of the pixels. So if you don't get it, at least your base here the same color that it needs to be, you are forever and a day going to be using that heal tool to try to fill that in. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Pretty good. All right, so we need to decrease the size of our brush a little bit again. A little bit bigger than that. That's good. Okay, so now I want to sample this area here. So I'm going to hold down the control key and I'm going to left click. That gives me my new target. So now I am going to start filling in this lighter area where the reflection is. Now remember, right now we are using the clone tool. We're not using the heel tool. We're using the clone tool. So I'm going to resample that area there because I want everything to blend in. You can see the difference in the color, right? Okay, so now I need a little bit smaller brush and I want to get this edge down here. So I'm going to hold down my control key. I'm going to left click and I've got my new target now. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to start filling in this edge where it's darker. All right? See how well that's blending in and we haven't even used the heel tool yet. All right, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to resample. I'm going to hold down the control key. I'm going to left click and I've got my new sample area there now. And I'm going to start filling in this bad place here with pixels. And then over here, I'm going to grab this area and I'm going to start filling this in, this bad area over here. And then I'm going to sample it again. The key is to frequently sample. You know, you want, you, you've got these different shades of color. Over here on the, on the, on the top right-hand side, it's very dark because it's in shadow. Here you're getting a little bit of sunlight, so it's a little different shade. Same thing over here on the left edge, it's darker. But right here, you're getting a lot of reflection off of it. So what I'm doing now is I'm just filling in this, miss, this missing information here where that, that foam and the paint are really, really torn up. Okay, I'm going to resample over here again so that I can get this highlight. We want to keep that, otherwise it's going to look weird. Okay, so let's go up to this area up here and start filling in these pixels. 
you know it's starting to look really good and we have not even touched the heel tool yet but I use the heel tool to finish it off to make sure that everything blends together nicely alright I'm going to grab some more pixels from that target that sample area we're looking good I want to get a little bit more of this edge okay so I think we I think we've done a good job with the with the clone tool maybe a few more pixels from this area yeah I don't like that let's remove that remember control Z is your friend if you, if you sample an area you don't like, just back back out of it and start over. All right, I think that looks a lot better. Yeah? All right, so now let's go to our heel tool. And again, I've got it set for about 50%. Um, I need a little bigger size again that looks good and let's see apply jitter smooth stroke and hard edge I'm going to remove deselect that okay so sample area control left click and then I'm just gonna left click through here I want this to blend in as well as possible because the hill tool will um, take an average sample of those pixels so that you're not going to have any weird looking you know lines in it so the 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 clone tool is your starting tool and the heel tool is your finish tool can you see the can you see uh, what it's doing right now with with it blending in those pixels Okay, let's take a sample over here. All right, guys, I think that looks pretty good. All right, so let's make sure we don't have our tools selected anymore. Go back to our layer dialog and let's go ahead and show our plane we'll select that layer and then we will zoom out now how does that look now I mean that canopy looks new once again so if I hide the the, the layer that we copied and edited that that's basically overlaying it so that's before and that's after that's before and that's after and like I said this process works not only with something like this you know this object this this little plane but it will work with your landscapes it'll work you know with buildings with cars it will work with people like I said if you've got someone that's got a blemish you know and you want to touch that up so that it looks nice or they've got a scar or a or you know they've got a bald spot and you want to fill it in you could do that with hair as well so um, excellent tools for fixing blemishes and whatever the subject uh, whatever the subject is of the of your image um, you can fix it with the heel and the clone tool all right that's a wrap on this episode stay tuned and I will see you in the next episode